Hey, so this is going to be an overview video on SceneForge Studio, the all-in-one previous platform available now within Virtual Studio by View. To get started, you can go to view.studio, which is accessible via the URL toolbar, or by clicking Get Started on the SceneForge.app landing page. Now here you can see all the amazing new apps coming soon and available now within Virtual Studio by View, including SceneForge. Now once you're signed up and signed in, you can go to SceneForge up at the top and click Download Installer. Now once the installer is available on your computer, you're going to want to sign in with your browser. And that'll log you directly in using your Virtual Studio account. Now SceneForge Studio is broken up into two main modes. There's Scene Mode for designing scenes and is your main previs application. And we also have server mode, which is a really beginner-friendly layer-based compositor for virtual production that connects to other engines such as Unreal and Unity. In this video, we're going to talk about scene mode, but there'll be more videos dedicated to server mode in the future. Now, once you click on scene mode, you'll be greeted with this splash screen for scene mode. You can create a new project or open an existing one. I have an existing one over here. And once you're in your project, you'll actually see that the SceneForge editor is broken up into four main tabs up at the top. Now each of these tabs have their own function, and we each get their own video dedicated towards them, which you can see for the YouTube channel. But this video will serve as a very brief overview of what each thing does. Now stage mode is where you actually interact with your 3D scene, including manipulating objects, using user-friendly transform tools, controlling the scene visuals such as the time of day, fog, lighting, and other effects, as well as editing object properties for lights, cameras, and dynamic objects. The floor plan is a top-down view of your scene, which you can use for tech viz, as well as storyboarding which gives you a key information view, including cameras, lights, and characters, as well as being able to actually draw rooms for rapid prototyping with doors and windows available. Next, we have storyboard mode, which is where you actually edit and compile your storyboards, which you can see includes a top-down view of the scene from the floor plan view, and shoot mode, which is where you actually interact with the virtual cameras in your scene by controlling different camera properties, focus, exposure, as well as various other effects. Now in the next video, you can actually learn more about stage mode and how you can interact with it and begin creating your 3D scenes. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.